What's going on RC World? Happy Tuesday to you guys. It is seeding practice here at the 2002 IFMAR World Championships held at the beautiful RC Redovan facility here in Spain. And uh, we got a bunch of racing going on today. Today is the first of two. Uh, we have two practice rounds today for seeding. Angaro just uh, dominated the first round, stringing like a 234 three lap average. So that was good for him. But uh, we're gonna take a little walk around her to see some of the uh, nationalities that are here at the IFMAR Worlds uh, 2002 here in Redavon. So let's take a walk through the pits and talk to some of the people, find out what countries they're representing and see how their worlds are doing. Let's go. So we come up here through the pits. Let's start her. I think this is, you'll find out pretty soon. We got a, uh, we got young Daniel Parente. Hola, como da? So I know you probably don't speak English, but muy bien, tu corre muy bien. Do you have English? No. So, dice uh, todo. Tell everybody your name and how old you are. Uh, I have uh, 17 years old and I'm from Spain. I am Daniel Parente. Okay. Habla más alto. Ah, I am from Spain and I am Daniel Parente. Yeah, you do. You did pretty good in in el Uros in el warm up también. Yeah. Uh, how long have you been racing? Uh, four years. So he's had four years racing at, at 17 years old and he's knocking on the door of the final here so far. He's really good. Running s -Wax. Yes. What tire is he running? Uh, T-Pro. All right, good. Well, good luck to you. And hey, remember this face? This kid's very fast, everybody. Daniel Parente. Thanks. Gracias. So I guess this is Team Spain over here. We got the Spain guys working, the Baldo, Baldo right here. Brian. I thought you said you wasn't going to be too fast this week, but you're the faster ball though so far. <laughs> no, my brother made now better than me. He did? Yeah. So this is the one of the owners of the track. He was on the podcast. Brian, how's the world going for you? You look less stressed. You look kind of stressed the first couple of days. Now I'm making some work in the organization and everything, but I'm trying to make the car so good. Mm -hmm. And we hope that will be semi-final and final, but... It's a hard week. Yes. Work. Well, you look like you're having a lot more fun than you did when I saw you. Yeah. Uh, thank you. You guys done a wonderful thank job. The facility is beautiful. The organization is great, and we appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. Bye bye. We got the man over. He looks hot and bothered. Robert. Hey. We got Robert's mechanic. Come to us, yeah. Robert. Tiene yeah. calor. A little bit. How are you? It's okay. Yeah. I just put. Uh, two hard compound on the first one. So, which tire are you gonna? Which hot race tire? Uh, I'm on the Amazonia hard for the first one, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna do medium for the next one. So, how's the grip out there? It's a strange one. I mean, it's not super high grip, mm -hmm. and it's not sliding, but feeling. I mean, there's so much oil in the truck right now. Right. So it's getting like a little loose. Greasy. Yes. We will, we will deal with it. Yeah, we will deal with it. Sure. Well, good luck to you in your next uh, seeding round, and Thank you. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, adios. Adios. That's Robert Badier, 2012 European champion, um, Euphoria champion. We got Team Kuwait. What's up, Team Kuwait? How you guys doing? Hi, good afternoon. You guys have a nice track in Kuwait too, right? Yeah, well, I had we do. one. We do. We do have a nice track. I've seen it. Race, I've yeah. seen it. Is there a lot of guys racing during Q8? Yeah, we like uh, 30 to 30, 35 drivers in Q8. All right, cool. That's good. Uh, is this your first world? Have you guys been before? No, we've been before in 2016, 18, and 14. Uh, yeah, 14. And cool. 10 as well in, in Pattaya. Right, nice, nice. You guys got a nice team here. Thank you very much. What's up, guys? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Enjoy your worlds. Take care. We got. Another more time, I'm gonna come over here in a minute. Let me go and say hello to Adam. Adam, Hi. the pride of Malaysia. How are you? Great. Tell say hello to your father. Hi, <laughs> He's shy, I know you're shy. Come on, don't be shy. Tell me who these guys are. We got, got a, the good Malaysian contingent here. What's your name? Paris. You gotta pick up. Paris. Paris? I'm Paris. All right, nice to meet you. First worlds, first time traveling another Malaysia to a race. Good, good to see young guys like you racing. This is Alex. Uh, I've known him for quite some time. He's shy. You don't want to talk. But he's grown up into a fine young man. What's up, Team Malaysia? Team Malaysia, how you guys doing? Hi. What's up? Portugal, Portugal. Yes, Portugal coming out to you guys. 
Team Malaysia over. What's up? Malaysia. Very good. Enjoy every moment. As, as yeah. we should. We're fortunate. Yes. <laughs> We're fortunate. Uh, team Portugal, I think, over her. Team Portugal? No, not Team Portugal. How you doing? We got the Is Team Israel. Hello, Team Israel. Hey, how are you? How are you? Tell us your name and. Hey, my name is Ziv. Uh huh. And this yes. is your yes. name. Our team manager. And uh, the track is amazing. Everything is amazing. And uh, we are looking forward for great uh, finals. And, uh, how many guys from uh, from Israel here? Five drivers. Nice. Yeah. Another one here. Two mechanics, yes. yes, very good, good to see. Well, good luck to you guys, and uh, it was nice Thank meeting you. you. And we'll be talking another time. All right, take it easy. Bye -bye. Go to, uh, we got Team America here, we got Fenn, his thrashing. You all right, Fenn? Good run yesterday, good run, good run. Getting there, Kev? We're making progress. How you doing, Goat? We're getting there. How you doing, you enjoying Spain? Of course. A lot cooler there than anywhere else. It's always fun in Europe. Good luck, Dunsford, good luck. Thank you. What's up? What's Can up, we turn your drama off for a second? You're making too much noise. Sorry about that. What's up, Pavitas? What's up, Keenan? Are you enjoying Spain? I'm loving it here. It's I'm, so much fun. I'm sure. I'm sure you guys are enjoying it here. How's your race going? Uh, it's going all right. I mean, it really hasn't started yet, right? We're just still in practice, but uh, it's been going good. Just trying to learn, like, this new style of track. Yeah. Um, definitely kind of at a disadvantage from the start, but I think that is going to be good. How's your hot race the tires way. doing? Hot, like, races, hot race stuff's good. It's really good here. What um, compound are you going out on? Because everybody seems to be using the Amazonias. I'm going out on medium. All right. Medium Amazonia. Uh, maybe hard if it's really hot, but mm -hmm. I think medium is working the best. Cool. Well, good luck to you. You got your dad here too. That's good. Let's go talk to the beast from the East Coast. Good runs for you yesterday. Good to yeah. see. How are you feeling? Yeah, I feel good. A little bit, a little bit better today. I think I uh, made a few tweaks for the first run today, and uh, I'm glad we did it the first round. And uh, now we got to go back to what we know. But uh, no, so far so good. I'm pumped to be, you know, top top 20. I think I was 21 yesterday, 21 again the first round today. So hopefully get in the top 15 or something like that. But yeah, no, cars, cars amazing, and uh, super easy to drive. The track's amazing, facility, everything, man. It's, it's awesome. It's a good time. And this isn't your first time over. You spent some time in Spain before. <laughs> So, yeah, I think yeah. Me and David lived in Marbella. Uh, we actually tried to drive up here and run some laps uh, at one point when we were living there, but uh, we never got to make it up here. And uh, it's unfortunate because this place is super badass. I yeah, mean, it's, it's awesome, man. But uh, no, I'm loving it, and uh, it's it's going good. Well, good luck, man. Let's do it for the East. Thank you, King. Walker, he's all smashing back. Look at him. Caught him in mid sandwich, spinning the wrenches for coal. We got Senior Pavitas, he's busy thrashing. What's up, Mark? How you doing? Yeah, so you got guys thrashing. We'll come back. We don't want to disturb you guys. Good luck to you guys. Oh, I'm sorry. We got Team Techno over here, Graham. It was somebody's birthday. What's up, Graham? What's happening, man? How you doing? I see you got a nice looking sausage sandwich there. Yeah, we got Tebow rocking the USA girl. Like in 2018, yeah. no long pants this week, it's too hot. They're the same ones, I cut them. <laughs> How's it going? I got some laps over yesterday. You was yeah. making some improvements. How's things going? Yeah. Oh man, today was awesome. Um, yeah, just uh, learning the track, trying to get more comfortable. It's a whole different driving style, you know, and uh, yeah, just kind of easing into it, making a good trajectory. And this morning it was stellar. I seated eighth in that first one. Then, you know, that was better than I was expecting. I kind of wanted to shoot for like the top 15 kind of range. So um, I still haven't really linked a whole lap together. But uh, yeah, trying to watch as many videos as I can and see where I'm screwing up and where I'm doing good. And, you know, fine tuning the car a little. Honestly, my car is awesome. It's uh, It's been good the whole time. Just um, sometimes when you're not used to how you need to drive, it almost feels like you want to take steering out to make it easier, but actually to go fast, you need a lot of steering. So I've kind of like taken steering away and then I've kind of, I'm putting it back now and you know, picking up my speed. So yeah, all good, man. What are you finding the most difficult part of this track? Uh, for me, the most difficult part is after the concrete three doubles, uh, that 180 is good, but that left 90 going down into that right 90, that back uh, far left sweeper into those next two 180s is pretty much the 
where you can really lose or gain time from what I've seen, and right. that's kind of the hardest part of the track for me. Uh, you have a little bit of lap time. The concrete 180, the two 180s before the finish line also. Um, I feel like I'm pretty good there, but the couple times I've taken steering away, I've definitely lost time there. Um, so there's definitely some lap time to be had there. Uh, getting on to the straightaway is pretty key as well, but I feel like uh, I've done that okay. You know, it depends on when that pothole comes in and stuff like that. But for me, my main focus has been kind of that back left. Yeah. What up, AKA, AKA wise, what are you guys using? What are you using? Uh, medium long wear double downs. Okay. Um, that, that's been great. I've tried one other, I've tried a soft long wear double down and it just wasn't that good. So yeah, medium long wear double downs. Um, they've been working awesome. Sweet. Well, good luck to you. I look forward to the, the next run. And as I say, the cream always rises to the top. So I look forward to seeing the, the, bat, the awesome qualifying battle that we're in store for for the next couple of days. Yeah, I think it's gonna be good, you know? like. You know, obviously at the start, a lot of the U.S. drivers were back and, you know, I've kind of been on the other side of that too. Like the fast guys, they're like at the top every time and they're worried how much are we going to catch them. And, you know, we're on that forward trajectory. So I'm, I'm really stoked with kind of the position. And it's cool seeing like, you know, Mayfield went really good there. Like Finn's gone better. Lutz has gone good. I'm going better. You know, like a lot of the U.S. guys are starting to step it up, and you know, we'll start putting the pressure on. That's good. That's uh, what we're here for. Ten-minute runs is going to be completely different. So, yeah. um, trying to focus on that too. You know, three laps is whatever. It's yeah. three laps. You know, we're going to be doing 13. So, uh, well, I guess not 13. It's 12 minutes. But yeah, however many we'll be doing in 10-minute runs. So, that'll definitely mix it up some. Sweet. Well, I wish you guys all the luck. And uh, I'll come back and we'll talk to you. I'm going to go talk to Wiggins. He's over there gluing tires. The wizard. All right, Graham, enjoy your sandwich. Oh, you got Team Fuller back. What's up, Wiggins? What's up? The Wizard. Oh, I haven't seen you to say, but congratulations on the Visions win. It was very good. I enjoyed it. Uh, you her. You was her in for the warm up. Yeah. What has changed from the warm up to the her now? Um. So for me, I really just the warm up was critical. Just just kind of learn the driving. So high speed, so high grip. Um, the track's like tighter and has a little different flow, especially the left section. There's just a lot more, um, yeah, tight sections. Uh, so it's definitely a different feel. There's some off-camera stuff, but it still was valuable for the warm-up. But for me, I, I was pretty far off at the warm-up, and now I feel like my car setup is awesome. I just need to continue working on my driving. So mm -hmm. making good progress and ready to get on the clock again. Yeah, I mean, the technos look good. Marco looks good out there as well. Yeah, he's been very fast. I, I was looking at Jared. He's looking good. So you guys have found something that's good. The new car. How's the new car? How working her? Yeah, it's been great. Um, I mean, I haven't changed. I did a lot of testing before the race to kind of get ready, and I haven't changed much from my setup I came with, just a few things for the conditions and the grip. Uh, but no, I'm really happy so far, it's been good. Kate has been busy doing all the media. I see you climbing up the ladder, braving the sun up there. That there's two days, dropping off and all that type of stuff. But I see you, that's good. Uh, keep up the good work, you guys. And I wish you guys all the best and enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks, Kevin. All right, let's go over and say hello to Team Mexico. I already said hello, but I forgot to hit record. Team Mexico. Hey, yeah. Todo bien. Todo perfecto. Todo perfecto. What's your name and uh, tell us about Mexico. Era Moreno, saludos a la gente de México. Vamos a Mariscal, saludos a todos. ¿Y usted? Yo soy primera. Saludos a México. Está bien. Here in Mexico, her party, they're having like parties in the pits, drinking tequila. I had to run away from them yesterday. They are getting too crazy for me. You got Team Sweden over here. Where's the Viking? Let's go talk to the Viking. We got Viking right here. This is a real Viking. We're looking at her. I, I forgot to hit record on the last one. So I have to do it all over again. Hampus, don't laugh at me. It's recording now. What's up? Hampus, you're in the way. I need to speak to the Viking. <laughs> There's Hampus, the Padawan of the Viking. Hey, Viking, I'm back and I hit record. Oh, you did? Yeah. Not like that last time. Space, I, I forgot what I said last time. All right, just say something. Uh, <laughs> what uh, compound are you going on right on hot race? Medium. Everybody seems to be going on on mediums. Yeah. How are you finding the track compared to uh, the warm up? What's the difference? There's more glue on the uh, surface, so it's kind of slick, like polished. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, the grip I would say is a little bit less uh, at some spots, but then in, in others it's kind of similar. I mean, overall it's pretty similar, but yeah, the track is just staying a bit more smooth, I'd say, uh, and uh, a bit more slick in the, in the line. Outside of the line, it's pretty good still, so uh, it's not easy. It's uh, the car has to be good for you to be able to go around and. Uh, yeah, that, that last round felt pretty good for me. I was fifth overall. Um, so we're gonna build on that, try some more stuff here in the last seating practice before uh, heading into qualifying tomorrow. So have you, what, you guys have been thrashing away? So how's the Mayaku performing? How are the course attack engines going? Yeah, everything good. Uh, a lot of speed coming up the hill uh, on the straightaway, so that's nice. And uh, the car has been uh, improving all the time. I think in that last round, uh, it was definitely feeling the best uh, it's done so far. Uh, I think I have a really good uh, race car at the moment, so just looking for a bit more outright speed, I'd say. Um, but I'm feeling confident, you know, uh, it's still practice and as long as you're there, it's, it's good. And wasn't able to put my three best laps together in that uh, first seating round, so still being fifth, uh, but, I mean, it's, it's good. So I'm going to try to improve on the next one. Strategy going into tomorrow, 10 minute qualifiers? Uh, yeah, just keep the car on the wheels. Uh, you know, make sure the uh, pit, sco pit stops go smoothly. Um, both the entry and the, the exit of the pit lane is kind of uh, kind of tough. Very long exit and uh, kind of narrow. So you really, you, if you push too hard there, you're gonna crash in the pit and uh, kind of far away from the marshal, so you're gonna lose time. So yeah, just making sure to keep the car on the wheels while the car is on the track and then uh, smooth pit stops uh, is going to be key. And, uh, then it should be good. Sweet. Well, good luck to you. And uh, let's not go into Zlatan mode right away. Gotta save that. Gotta yeah. save that. We got Adrian. He's a ringer. Came here to mechanic. Now he's racing. Adrian, they, what's up? You, someone, you got, you got, you got talked into racing. Yes. Yesterday, they, I could uh, could get a spot on the for the last practice. Mm -hmm. So it's always interesting for me, uh, even if uh, the Lanier track is a bit uh, difficult. This track is definitely a world, uh, world uh, track, yeah, uh, for sure. And uh, now trying to get shoes this morning was okay. I could uh, mix my laps, and uh, now where I can uh, focus more on uh, trying stuff for David, and uh, so we can get the best out of the, of the package. How are the course attack engines coming along? Good. I think uh, I think we are good. We are ready. We will be uh, out on the market uh, just after this race. So everything is ready, and uh, I hope uh, people will enjoy. It. Well, good luck to you, Thank and um, have fun with your racing. Okay. And uh, I don't know, I think it's between you and Greg now, the battle. Yeah, yeah, I, I, have, uh, I have a Greg uh, in my, uh, on my mirror, and uh, <laughs> we have a meeting on uh, Saturday Sunday. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all, like old times. Yeah, we got JQ, his thrashing. JQ, yes. I have a question for you. Greg, Greg Degani, don't go anywhere. So, you know. What's up, JQ? Kind of reeling in the bet at the moment. You know, everybody's talking about. Come on, you're all in it. Come over this side. You're all in the dark. Kind of winning the bet at the moment right now. What's your, what's your thoughts on the one thousand dollar bet that you and Greg have coming up? Well, I don't know why he made the bet. It's very easy for me to win that, so I'm happy. I don't expect him to pay because he's a big fat liar. But I'm hoping he'll one thousand pesos. Yeah, I'm hoping he'll actually stand by his word and pay me a thousand dollars at the end of the week when I beat him. So, JQ, the my Apple cars are looking good out there. Your car looks good too, by the way, I wanted to tell you. Yeah, uh, even though you're here as a hobbyist now. Yeah. So, tell us, what what have you guys been doing to the my Apple cars to make them better? Uh, well, I think all of our cars have been very easy to drive. Almost too easy, so we just have been adding more steering. Okay. So, but, in ways that doesn't make the car harder to drive. We still want it to be easy and comfortable and consistent. Just think of ways to add some steering without losing the positives of the car. So that's well, what we've been doing. Good stuff. Yeah. It's, it's good to be here. Good to be here if you, you know, four years ago we was talking about this race and four years later we're here. Well, I'm here. You would always be here. But uh, thank you for your time. And um, yeah, we got to do a podcast at some point. I don't know, man. Yeah. All right, talk to you later. We gotta talk to the, the Polish Punisher before I go. Mikhail!
this is a little bit, you know, you're not used to this type of stuff. You're more used, let me come over this side, better. You're more used to electric, 10 scale. How are you liking nitro? It's, it's good, it's difficult with the open tire. And the track is changing a lot, so we need to change the tire, change the car, and also get the engine to work well. So it's, it's tough, but uh, we thought we'll give it a go. It's my first race abroad with Nitro, so obviously there's a lot to learn, and we're having fun, and hopefully we'll be there at the end. It's a, it's a steep running curve. Uh, you're, so what's going on? Are you running a Mugen or how's it work? Or you can't say? It's a special car. Uh, I can't even, if I put my camera down there, would I get in trouble? Uh, no, no. Uh, beach line, you're going to the Florida, are you going yes. to the Florida Copper Championships here? Yeah, yeah, over there. Yeah, I'm hearing some rumors that there might be a Worlds there. Are you looking forward to it if it's going to be there? Yeah, it would be nice. We, we went there last year and uh, we had lots of fun. We learned a lot, so we'll, we'll be more prepared for this year. Um, and if the Worlds are there, I think we, we're, we have a, you know, we're in a good position to, to fight for the win. As we won four drives last year, so hopefully this year we can do one, one more win and uh, we'll see the Worlds next year. But I, I, I heard this. I heard the rumors, and uh, I've heard a lot of rumors about the world. So I will believe when when the official announcement is there, and wherever it is, we we're happy to go there and, and try to win. Sweet. Hey, say what's up to Aiden and Joey Fisher, real quick. Hey guys. Hey, hey Aiden and hey Joey. <laughs> All right, well, good luck to you, and I'll talk to you later. All right, guys, I didn't get to talk to everybody here, but <laughs> it still was 20-something minutes. Actually, the first time I went around, I forgot to hit record. But anyway, I got a few guys in here. I'll do another one tomorrow. I'm going back up, do a little bit of commentating with the guys. Uh, today is a little bit of a light day. I was up to 3 o'clock in the morning editing video last night. It's a little bit tired, but uh, that was a slight little pit walk. Well, one half of the pit walk, I'll go see some more people to tomorrow and then go over to where the Kyosho pits and everything are over there. They're separate. But uh, I wanted to say thank you to all of you guys, the NNRC squad around the world. Truly, I can't do this without you guys. Also, thank you to all the awesome companies that helped me get her. High Tech RC, uh, Beach RC, InvisibleSpeed.net, TZO 200 tires, and of course, RCGP uh, World Series. And shout out to my boy, all the imprints for these really nice uh, high tech hats. And uh, that's it. So we got another round of 10 minute practice, which seating practice, then open, open, opening ceremonies. So I'm gonna go up and uh, do some more commentating and probably film the opening ceremonies. With that said, Nitro is the glory. This is Lefty the, at, the, at the NNRC at the 2022 IFMAR World Championships here in Redavon, Spain. Lefty out.